What's up my little cat travelers and welcome back to another Eden character quest, side stories, whatever I decide to call them. Seems like I change every video. But we are doing uh, Danuret's last quest today guys, so we'll see what's the deal with uh, with his quest, what's his mystery, we'll see what's happening guys, I'm kind of curious. Um, so far his quests have been kind of good, um, you know, a little bit uh, shrouded in mystery and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. Alright guys, so let's see. What do we got right now? All right, so the quest is called Where Have They Gone? Daenerys' quest. Daenerys and the others head to his hometown, the Snakebone Island, to attend an, an event happening in Cunium. What kind of event is it? Hmm. All right, guys, let's start it up. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. It's been age since I last came here. I last came here. So this is your hometown, huh? Yeah, this is where I'm from. Bran as well. Look at him. He looks more excited than usual, don't you think? He, uh, he just loved the gentle breeze blowing through here. Shout out to the uh, amazing background art, guys. It's beautiful. So, uh, what made you suddenly decide to stop by home? Well, a very important event happened each year around this time. It's Snake Bone Island. Uh, what event is that? It's called the Elimination Ceremony. Have you heard of it? Elimination? What? Don't think I heard of it. It's an old ritual unique to this island. It's been passed down since ancient time. It's the time when we prepare grass paper lantern for the returning soul and then release the lantern into the sky. Returning soul? Do you still actually come back here to our world? Nope, departed souls do not come back, but beasts living on this island believe they do. They believe that their diseased friends and family visit them from the afterlife. That's right, everyone here still believe in the afterlife. As a traveling purifier, it is just as important to help with the ceremony as to perform the ascension. Got it, since it's just important work, is there anything I can help with? Thanks, glad to know you're willing to help. Let's head down to Kenyum. The whole village is participating in the event. All right, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's up with that, guys. We'll see what's up with that. All right, let's go to Kenyum. All right. Um, I'm not gonna walk. I will teleport there because it's faster. Right here. And there you go. Hello. Oh, is that you, Daenerith? How is your journey going? Nothing to complain about. Luckily, I have a reliable friend here to travel with. Oh, hmm, a human. Most, most unusual. Well, our destiny are all in the hands of the winged bean. Ah, oh, yes, we must rely on the winged bean. So, how's the preparation for the elimination ceremony going? Oh, about that. Well, you see, there's a bit of a mix-up. There's not enough lantern. Mix-up? You wrote the wrong number when placing the order. It's all your fault, knucklehead. Hmm, that's quite a pro the problem. It's been a while, but I think I could help make some more lantern. <gasps> really? No, no, you can't be bothered. You must be busy preparing the ceremony. Right, right. So it would be too much to ask. Uh, why are you acting as if it's a huge favor to ask? Well, because as far as I understand, sir, you cannot turn into your beast form. What? I'm confused, what? Shh, be careful what you say. Oh, sorry. But it does change the fact that it's dangerous, doesn't it? Oh, uh, you are certain right about that. Thank you for worrying about me, but I'm alright. I even have a strong friend fighting alongside me. Sir. Hmm, I see if you say so. Don't give me that face. I won't let my past bother me again. I want to know more about these ma materials that we need. Sure. Give me a moment. Oh no, that's the guy. I go and check how much more we need. 
Alright, so I, I guess the Nurus may maybe is cursed and he cannot turn into a beast form. That might that might be what's up. That might be what's up. What do you mean by not letting yourself be bothered by your past? Did uh, something happen? Plus damage that you had uh, that you can't transform. That's that's uh Once after a battle you seem to be relieved because you didn't transform. What was that all about? It sounded to me like you could have turned into a beast, but you didn't really want to. Right. Well, perhaps I should tell you about it. What they were referring to is an event I cannot escape from. It was at this incident that I lost my sister forever. You had your sister and she... Yeah. It was a year ago around this time of the year, when the illumination ceremony was going on. I was still a child. My sister and I were secretly planning to make a, a lantern, so without telling the grown-ups, we went to Egoma to collect the material. It happened in a flash. I wasn't looking at her for a moment, and then she was gone. All right, I checked the material and what we need right now is you and Herb. Oh, did I interrupt anything? No, absolutely not. By the way, the Nuritz, do you, do you know uh, what you and Herb is? Sure, I know them very well. They plant. There's a plant that grows in Egoma. Egoma? Perhaps is what the Nuritz and his sister went searching for? Hmm. Alright, okay, well then, uh, let's go and get some herbs, I guess. Yay, did you hear that? They're making lantern. Grandpa and everyone would be so super happy if we helped them. Yay! But Daddy and Mommy told us to never leave the village. I heard there's a terrible ghost out there at this time of year. It's just made up legend, grown-ups goes in and out of the village all the time. Huh, you're right. Hey, did those big guys say they were going to Egoma? Let's follow them. Okay, let's follow them. Yeah, I have a, I have a strong feeling that these kids are going to get attacked and uh, the Nuris is going to relive whatever happened with his sister again and that's going to be sad. Alright, let's go get some grass. I, I do love the uh, I do love the background in this zone. It's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty. It's pretty. Oops. Let's go here. There you go. Next to the uh, water spot. So is this where the UN Earth grows? Yeah, we use them as as a heat source to lift the lantern into the air. The grass the grass all looks the same though. Don't worry, I got an idea. Brent, I need your help. Hmm, what can Brent possibly do for us? He can smell you an herb and knows where it grows. Oh wow, Brent got a strong sense of smell for a bird. Ha <laughs> ha Have you forgotten about what I said before? Brent can can sense smell coming from soul. And it just happened that Yen Herb absorbed the smell from soul. How convenient. Yeah, I see. This is very convenient for a task. Yep, too convenient. All right, then. Let's find a brand and collect those herbs. There, we collect quite a bit of them. I'm sure this is more than enough. And these herbs are, uh, are the eight source, right? For making the lantern fly? Yep. When you and herbs are lit, they burn it with an, an amazing colorful flame. It means to guide the soul to the sky. Back to their proper place. The lantern illumination, huh? I can't wait to actually see it. Just imagine hundreds of lanterns flame brightening the skies of a snake bone island. It's simply breathtaking. It makes you think that soul which actually goes to purgatory can find their way to the peaceful world of the afterlife. Or not. 
Sometime. I wish I actually believed in such a thing. Are you going to prepare a lantern for your sister? Nope. I never done that for her, and I'm not going to start DSV either. Huh? But if she's in the purgatory, why not at least try to reach her by lighting a lantern? About my sister. Her soul isn't in purgatory. It's not? What's that supposed to mean? <gasps> Is she Bran? That'd be nice. Somebody help! What's going on? What are you doing here? By yourself, kid. My sister's gone. Gotta look everywhere, but I can't find her. Why? You were supposed to stay in the village. What were you thinking? Eee! Calm down, Daenerys. Calm down. I understand the feelings, but now's not the time to hassle the kid. Forgive me. So, where were you when you last saw your sister? Um, uh, not so far from here. Just down this path. We'll help you find your sister. In the meantime, you should head back to the village. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. Please find my sisters being her home. Of course we will. We'll find her and bring her back home no matter what. Well, I never expected you to uh, be so intense like that. I, I was just like him so long ago. Yelling at him won't change anything, but... Daenerys, come on, you can talk to me. <laughs> How silly. That I can't. I still can. I can never atone for my mistake, but I can at least save my save his sister. But how can a child disappear without a trace? What could possibly be happening? I think I have an idea. The boy said it's down this path. Let's get moving. All right, so by down this path, you mean up there, right? I love these vertical, um, little vertical ramp. They're simple, but they're effective. They make me smile. I like it. it. Makes the world awesome. All right, let's go over there. Oh, cool! A fight. Yeah, there you go. Damn it, I can't find her. Daenerys, can you ask Bran to search for her? He's already helping the search. But at this time of year, the smell of you and herb distract him. It's not easy for him to recognize the smell. Then we just have to search this entire island for her. Aldo, then I tell you then I tell you that I had an idea. Follow me. What? Wait, what? An entrance to the snake dream? How on earth did it get here? To be accurate, it's a secret tunnel dug by a rare monster that lives in, on snake dream. A rare monster? Yup, and bingo, I often hear that bad feelings always come true. Right now, I think I believe it. Um, I don't know about that, but the girls couldn't be inside. Yeah, it's highly, it's highly likely. Let's go. We're, we're here. We're inside Snake Dream. Yeah, this all brings back to memory. Nothing has changed. Daenerys. Be careful, Aldo. We're dealing with a monster that knows the taste of the living soul. A living soul? Wait, does that mean... These monsters once used to feed on the UN herb that carries the scent of soul, but now they discover the taste of living soul. They start with my sister's soul. 
So that's that's what happened. Now I know why your sister's soul doesn't doesn't exist in purgatory. I've been telling the children ghost story and warning parents to keep their children in this village, but no matter what I did, something was bound to happen eventually. This time, as ever, I'll end this for good. Ah, ah! Help me, brother! Did you hear that? It's her. Let's hurry, Aldo. We're too late. No, she's just unconscious. Her soul is still untainted. Do soul get tainted? Originally, this feeble monster was only fed on the sense from the human herb. They are not even capable of chewing, swallowing, or ingesting them. But when one is held by them, her soul experiences a never-ending torture as it slowly nibbles away. Once it has enjoyed a taste long enough, it spit out the soul up like a gum. It's a huge disgrace to the victim's fate, to divine providence, and to all others being, he must be punished. This is how my sister's soul became an evil spirit. I could have solved the terrible injustice that's plagued our world. You have every right to be angry. Let's kick his ass. Finally, I found you. I've waited all my life for a chance to end you. Daenerys! Let me fight side by side with you. We'll save the girl, whatever it takes. Alright, so this quest guys is taking an amazing turn. Um, alright, let's, you know, let, let, let's kill it. There I go, dead. Yeah. <laughs> Did we get it? Not quite, Aldo. Damn it! How does this have, have strength? Ugh. It must have attained all, all of this power by eating Rilia's soul. If her strength isn't enough, then I have only one option. Watch out! Aldo! Daener Daenerys, you don't have to, to transform. Leave it to me. Take the kids and run. Get far, get far from here. Aldo, why would you? The past is repeating itself. It's exactly the same as the day I failed to save my sister, Rilia. Come on, Daenerys, run! No, I can't run. I just can't. I'm not running away. Not anymore. Ooh! All right, he's gonna change it to a beast form. Nice. Ooh! Oh! Wait, did we fight this creature before? Sunerith, your form. Forgive me, real yet. This will only last a moment. No one has to see you like this for so long. Here we go. Whoa! You only needed a second to take down that monster. Aldo, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, but uh, what was that? That was me, wrapped in a veil called sin and punishment. My beast form is where my sister's soul, Rilliot's evil spirit, reside. I see, no wonder you insisted on not transforming. Once her soul was consumed by that monster, Rilliot's soul could no longer sustain itself until the reincarnation would just wait and then vanish forever. Once I realized this, I allowed her evil spirit to curse me, trapping her in our world. Which was the key point of our contract. Normally, I have to take her soul with me right away, but, I, but I've agreed to let it, let it slide. In return, he keeps working for me. He keeps sending me soul of the beast. It's a win-win situation. Are you talking advantage of Daenerys tragedy? Who knows? You could say that. All I can say is that I'm doing him a great favor. Whether he agrees with me or not, it's entirely up to him. Isn't that right? You monster! It's okay, Aldo. You don't need to say anything anymore. I'm happy that you care about my sister and me. 
All right. I mean, if you say so, Daenerys. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I got to get going. You helped me remove the cause of soul changing into evil spirit. Makes my job way easier. Farewell, gentlemen, until we meet again. He's kind of cool. I think I have him in my party, but he's kind of like a douche and I like it. Well then, let's just bring the child back to the village. Everybody must be worried about her. All right, let's get uh, let's get out of here. Yay! All right, I'm not gonna lie though, the last part was kind of cool. The Nuris. It's you. What are you doing here? I was worried when you did not return. What about the children? Oh wait, that's the guy. My bad. They're fine, I see. Brother. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. You must have been terrified. <laughs> Brother. You're all, you're all right now. The monsters won't come back for you ever. Aldo took care of it. Huh? Oh, that's a relief. I don't know how to thank you. Please, I didn't I didn't do it. Alright, I'll I'll take the credit. Can you look after the children? I got lots to do to get ready. Sure things, leave them to me. Oh, and this is for you. Ah, the you and herbs. I'll take them off your hand. Finally I can finish up the rest of the lantern. You guys go ahead and mix your way to Mystica. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Bye bye. Shouldn't we have told him about uh, that you saved the girl by transforming? I never told the village the truth about my sister for all they know. She rests peaceful, peaceful in the afterlife. It's better that to have them think that way for the sake of my sister's legacy. No one needs to know about how she became an evil spirit and what happened when I transformed. Alright. I mean, if that's what you wish, sure. I'm sorry for keeping so many things from you, Aldo. Eh, don't worry too much about it. You can always count on me. I mean, it's alright. Secrets and all. I know very well how difficult it is to keep secrets from others. Thank you for understanding, Aldo. Anyway, we should start heading to the Mesica. Uh, you got a lot of preparation to do for the elimination ceremony, right? Oh, Aldo. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad to have you around, my friend. Oh. All right, let's go to Mesica. I don't know where that is actually. Um, where is it? Is it in Canyon? Crap, where, f where is Mesica? Um, in progress. Um, all right, so, so it's here. All right, so you guys, I don't know where it is. Um, it's here. Missy, oh, it's right here. I, I cannot read. All right. Oh, this is this this is a, this is beautiful. All right, guys, the conclusion of the quest. Seems that the villagers aren't here yet. Well, we still got some time until the ceremony start. Don't you think it's it's ironic? I've met a I've met a being from purgatory and know that the afterlife doesn't exist yet here i am working as a purifier teaching people about the afterlife that doesn't actually await them can you possibly name someone else who's living a life of twisters as mine here i am performing ascension for my own hand i don't think so huh I've been watching you as, you tra as we traveled. You care so much about the people who, uh, you know. And you always show compassion for the for their loved one. It's for them that uh, that it works. Even if the afterlife is all made up, those people believe it. For those left behind, isn't that the same as true? Ah, well, I don't know what to say. 
But it's almost time. The villagers will be here soon. We pray for those who await us in the afterlife. May the soul of our loved one rest in peace. Our prayer shall guide the soul of our friends and family back to their resting place. Our hopes shall lighten the path for the harmonious world where they belong. Incredible, the view is simply breathtaking. It's pretty cool, I like the view. I know, it's odd. The concept of the afterlife and those lanterns carry no meaning whatsoever. But still, part of me believes that one day, I'll make a lantern for Aurelia. Can we somehow change an evil spirit back? I'm not sure really. I don't know anyone who can answer that question for sure. Really? But I know one thing's for certain. Each time I perform the ascension for her soul, a little bit of my sister's soul fades away. Is that true? Does it mean that one day she might be able to reach purgatory? No, it's just a feeling I get. I see. But you shouldn't always doubt your feelings. There must be a reason why. Here's the truth. Before I met you, I had all but given up. But things have changed. Now we're here. You've got to be crazy to travel with someone who keeps such a dark secret, but still, you helped me. To narrate. <laughs> oh, did I hear the bird just, the little birdie says, don't forget about me? That goes without saying, Brown's my friend. You always be my best buddy. I'm a liar. Far from becoming the respected prefer that people can look up to. All along, I've been performing ascension for my own sake, trying to atone for everything. Still, deep down, I wish to truly guide these souls to the final resting place, and I hope that every soul will be safe so that they do may light up the sky. All right, guys, the quest is over. All right, so... Ooh, I, I think I think this quest was was the best was the better out of the three. Um, pretty cool. Still a little bit sad that the fact that um, people don't go to uh, like you know to the good place. They just go to purgatory when uh, they they get to feed um, like some kind of like well or something. Um, I, it's been a long time since I I did a Daisy um story, but yeah, it seems like uh seems like the like the, the rules of the afterlife, like all the souls go somewhere and like it's it's a cycle or whatever. Still sad. I mean I, I wish you know I wish they went to the, the good place. But uh it's nice we actually actually understood uh, this secret and um it's pretty it's pretty dark actually but you know I still like the character. Um yeah guys uh with that being said tell me what you thought of uh, his last quest guys in the comment also if you like what I do please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time for more another Eden Sight Story. Bye-bye.